Hey, what is up, fight fans? Michael Hernandez here, and I am here with Pedro Trujillo of One Nation Combat, the man that is going to be fighting for that middleweight strap against Giovanni Asensio at 559 Fights 100. Pedro, how are you doing today, my man? Doing good, brother. Doing good. No. So how? what was your reaction? Because you were there, obviously, on July 29th. You got to watch Giovanni Asensio versus Larissa Zavala. You, and a lot of people in the crowd kind of felt, you know, Larry's injuries may hinder him from coming out and being able to perform on the um, on the next card. But a lot of people were also hopeful that it was going to be you and Savala going to hop in there. But obviously, you know, uh, he had those uh, injuries with the eyes and wasn't able to come through. Now you got Giovanni. Uh, what was what was going through your head when you got the contract? Because I'm pretty sure you were expecting uh, Larry Zavala to be on there, right? Yeah, man. Uh Again, just like how I said last interview, it always happens, you know. So just focus on same same thing, just different person, nothing different. So for you, does it make it a little bit different? Because I know we heard talking in that first interview about how it would possibly be you and Giovanni again. It would be you and Giovanni too. And now it, it is going to be you and Giovanni too. With everything, the way that it's happened, you know, he's kind of stepped up in – place of Larry and you guys are going to go ahead and go at it how are you feeling about this matchup do you feel it's going to go a lot like that first time that you guys got in that uh in that cage or do you feel it's going to be a little bit different since uh obviously you guys have grown in there yeah no Jill Jill's grown a lot uh but we'll see man we'll see it's gonna be good uh snow will be going in there giving it all I know it's gonna be a pretty tough tight fight he's tough yeah, that man, that man's got some hands. You know, he was absolutely unleashing during that uh, Larry Zavala fight, and uh, sadly wasn't able to get the decision for for him and his team. But I feel he still showed a lot with that performance, and that was kind of the reasoning for why he was told, you know, hey, let's get you in there on September sixteenth against Pedro. For you, how does this feel? You know, this is a moment that you've been kind of prophesizing a moment that you've been into fruition for a while now becoming the 559 fights middleweight champion and going from there and doing your thing how, how does it feel going into it like you're you're almost a couple of weeks out now from it does it feel almost a little bit surreal or are you just kind of trying to play it cool and it, it seems right now you're very very calm about everything no yeah right now i'm just uh even my coaches ask me uh is everything okay and everything's fine just focus uh Right now, it's just right here in my hand, so I'll be down if I lose it, you know what I mean? So I've just been determined, focused, and uh, I'll let the nerves get to me the fight of the day, you know what I mean, and release it all on him. Has it been a pretty good camp coming up into this? I know, uh, obviously, you have been pro you've been probably starting up school and everything as of late, correct? Uh, well, right now, no, not right now, but I'll start up school. I've just been working and training, so I've been de dedicated. How has the combination of those two been? Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Uh, I train, wake up at 4, 5, and then clock in at 6.30 and then all the way to 3 and then practice at 5.30 and call it a day. Pretty basic, you know, simple. Yeah, it's a schedule that often a lot of you MMA fighters have to grow accustomed to is that, you know, working from, uh, you know, working that eight hour shift or working however long you got to work into the day. And then after right after that, getting your bag, getting everything going, getting the mouthpiece ready and getting the water and going and heading to the training room has your um has your team really been making a big emphasis for you? Because like how you were saying, they were asking, you know, how, how is everything doing? How's this all that? Have they been making it maybe a bigger push for you since this is a championship belt? I know you have been previously in championship bouts before and a lot of your fights have been for gold, but has there been a, a sudden push from anybody? Has anybody been like, Hey, we're going to, we're going to try out something a little bit different this camp and we're going to see how it rolls. And you guys have, uh, you guys have maybe implemented that or uh... oh yeah um you know it's not our our first rodeo so we've just really been focused on uh they know I'm my mind's focused so they don't really have to tell me nothing but just show me and I'm willing doing the work 100 percent and uh it's just same thing different day you know what I mean but we're training harder every day every day how did you uh feel about your opponent uh 
Andrew Perillo after the fight. I seemed you guys had a lot of camaraderie towards each other. It seemed you guys had a lot of love. And it's uh, I heard a little bit of rumblings of you guys possibly training together and working together. Has that came into yeah. fruition? Has there been any uh, talks of uh, the Frost Giant and uh, Pedro Trujillo joining forces? Yeah, man. He's a cool dude. I like him. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Uh, tough. But no, I, I hit him up recently. I'm um, thinking about going out there one time uh, with his fight camp, you know, see what he could show me, see what he's seeing I did wrong and, you know, fix each other up. So, yes. yeah, hopefully I could get to train with him soon. It's a different approach because I don't see that often from amateur guys, which I think is super smart. Like how you're saying to find those mistakes, like how how he's looking, how he's looking at you, how he's studying you, maybe in the same realm that your opponent Giovanni is studying you and maybe looking at those same things like, hey, Pedro, you're letting you're letting this sweep happen like 80 percent of the time, man. Like, let's work on this. And that's not something that your coaches may notice because they're in the room with you every day. They're getting to see Pedro Trujillo and what he's doing every day. So they may not they may just think, oh, yeah, that's just how he does it or whatever. But in all reality, someone may find a hole in that. So that's very interesting that you're going and going to go find those people that have found the holes in your game already not people that are looking to try better you but people that you've already fought because i feel like oftentimes that's kind of people that is even that is even fly in their stratosphere of thinking yeah, yeah I, 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 it's pretty cool i kind of like try to keep it like that especially because we're amateur and pro i can understand you know people are like oh it's we're competing with each other but right now we're all just trying to make it to the top you know what i mean so when i help each other out you know so uh, i've been really hard i've been like every fight i ask my opponents for their Instagram and exchange and uh you know they're always welcome to my gym and then they say the same thing back so you know it starts from there it's all, definitely all love in the martial uh, mixed martial arts community and that makes me very happy to hear that you guys are still a uh, keeping in contact and everything because I was really hoping it wasn't just a post fight like hey you're good you're good you know it was it was true I could kind of tell that there was a true camaraderie there and that there was a lot of respect held between you men but I definitely wanted to see it see it go through and see everything kind of come into uh come into fruition and eventually see you guys training so i will be very much looking forward to those pictures whenever they do come out but um you know for you how was that fight it was uh definitely a barn burner i know i got to talk to you a little bit after for the post fight interview but looking back at it now i'm pretty sure you've had to watch it a couple of times what are your thoughts about that fight against andrew perillo um you know i'm very tough on myself again uh I've seen a lot of holes myself. It's because, you know, it, it made it look like a good performance. But for me, I know what I, I can do and what I should have done. So, you know, I've been working on that. So right now it should be even better, you know. Every fight should be a even better fight. It, it It's crazy. I keep on saying we are prophesizing this. We are prophesizing that. In a way, we prophesized the way that fight was going to play out. You were saying it's going to be a little bit of a wrestling versus jiu-jitsu. And let's see who's going to win. And uh, wrestling came out on top, man. You were able to come away with a lot of that, uh, a lot of the cage control, just in general, a lot of the control in the ground game. Was that something that you were a little bit surprised about? Was that something that where you're like, oh, crap, like I did not expect this was the side of the fight I was going to be winning? Because I know sometimes guys go into fights and they're like, hey, you know, this guy's got really good jujitsu. He may be able to get me on the ground, but I'm going to stick him on the feet and that's where I'm going to win the fight how are you feeling going into it and uh just in general round through round give us a little bit of uh what was going through the head of pedro trujillo man no yeah uh, well i went in there thinking like all right i gotta get carried out this fight if not you know what i mean uh yeah i don't deserve to be in this sport because i'm not giving him all so i went in there this fight i uh, just went swinging so when he tried to i, I respected his jiu-jitsu so We've been working on switching off the cage and uh, not keeping your back on the fence. So I was prepared for his clinch. He was very strong, freaking strong. And um, no, yeah. So at first, I rocked him a, a first couple times. And I felt like, all right, my striking is doing pretty good. And he tried to take me down, got right back up. So I felt real comfortable on the feet and uh, just let it play out. And to the end of the fight, you know, I'm not the type of person that to go off the game plan because it doesn't really go 100% that way during the fight, you know, so whatever comes at me, I'm ready for it. I always talk to people outside of the MMA sphere and talking to them about guys and their game plans and what they're thinking about going into fights and 
oftentimes I tell them, you know, it's really hard to try and game plan for MMA because it's a fight. At the end of the day, you're getting punched in the face. So no matter how much you want to train for a certain aspect of that guy's game or train for this and that, it, it can go all out the window with one punch. And it sounds over-exaggerated. It may sound crazy, but it really can. And the great example I always give to people of this is imagine you're a wrestler and you go in there and your your game plans take the down the guy down for five rounds you break your jaw in the first round it's going to be pretty hard to put your face on that guy's chest and to continue to take him down so things like this where it's for you guys it's it's quick thinking you know and have you oftentimes like been like damn like i gotta come up with things on the fly and uh it's a little bit hard man because i know you guys your coaches in there and obviously you put in all the work but you know, like how we were saying, uh, getting punched, getting kicked, and getting thrown on the ground, that can definitely put a whole lot of uh, changing into that. Am I right? No, yeah, of course. So that's why we tra- we don't really train. All right, so you're going to do this combo, all right? This is going to land. Nah. So we train one-punch combos, you know, reaction. All right, they throw this. We build that muscle memory, you know what I mean? So it's like we focus on basics, and basics win the fights, and it's – uh. I want to master all the punches and not just be known for one. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, and right there just creates a muscle reaction, muscle memory, and uh, it works in a fight. You know, I've seen it myself. So I could say it works. Looking back at it, how, how are you feeling after the knees? I know in the post-fight interview, you were like, man, this guy's knees were hitting me different. Was there a couple of bruises? Was there bruising? Was there anything like that? Or were you A-OK? Uh, yeah, I was got back into there got back in the gym the next week you know it was uh just bruises you know everything's good now healed strong and healthy so um, i'm ready ready to put my bones in in some harm's way again and how was your first ever experience at 559 fights i know that that was something that you were very much looking forward to you said it was a you know professional looking organization and you like the way they did things but how was your first time personally going through the 559 fights uh (laughs) You know, how how was it? Man, yeah, they're, they're cool, man. It's I loved it. It's real professional, and uh, they showed a lot of love towards me, so that was pretty cool knowing it was my first time there. They didn't know nothing about me, but they showed a lot of respect, and uh, I feel like I made a good impression, you know, so hopefully staying on their good side and, uh, you know, keep keep putting on a show for them. You definitely got a, a lot of love, you know, you with your, your attire out to the ring, you wore the mariachi hat, and then you also uh, came out to El Rey by Vicente Fernandez, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. What's going to be the next walkout song for Pedro Trujillo? Ah, that's a good question, man. You don't have me thinking. So it's like, I don't know. I might stick with the, uh, maybe a different different uh, Spanish song, but uh, I might keep the sombrero and pancho, but who knows? I don't know. I'm a mystery man, man. I like a lot of things. So we'll see. Are you gonna stick to the Spanish route for sure? For sure. Is it gonna is gonna be the old school corridos, like how you're going, you know, going Vicente Fernandez, going all those guys? Are you gonna hit hit up the new school? Are you gonna look at Nathaniel Cano and all those guys that are coming up in the in the scene? What what were you looking to do? Because as you said, you know, you may keep the poncho and the sombrero, may not. So you know. I don't know. I wanna there's a lot of cool things I want to do, you know. It's all about, you know, uh, first impressions. So when the fans look at me when I walk out there, I want them to be like, oh, wow, let me keep my eyes on him, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, it's not about how you look, it's about how you fight. But still, you know, it's fun. It's fun, you know, dressing up. It's like you're a character in that in that uh, ring and arena. So. I, I tell guys all the time, you got to remember, a lot of these, like, a lot of guys like you, you guys grew up watching WWE. You guys grew up watching guys like this to where it's pretty cool to go out into MMA and to dress up and everything. And, you know, we today the day we're filming this the passing of Bray Wyatt happens and you know people like that where you get to see their entrances and get to see the way it changes the crowd and get to see the way it can flip some people because some people can see an entrance and be like hey I like the guy that was wearing the poncho and the in the sombrero let me go for that guy It, it really it can draw a whole lot of fans to you if you know how to work all of that magic into walking out into the ring and just in general how you carry yourself into that cage it can it can definitely be the difference between you having thousands of fans and being loved by everybody 
or people being like, this guy's boring and has no personality, like, you know, and so I definitely always find it interesting when fighters like to throw it, mix it up a little bit, you know, don't like to come out to the same uh, face the pain song and, you know, just the, the same old uh, walkout, you definitely like to do it up a little different. So yeah. what are some things that you're excited for, for 559 Fights 100? Obviously a pretty historic event, you know, was there anything in particular that you were looking uh, pretty excited for? Were you maybe excited to switch it up? You're going to be fighting indoors compared to fighting outdoors now. Was there anything about uh, 559 Fights 100 that you were excited about? We're fighting indoors this time? Yes, it's going to be at the Visalia Convention Center. So you're actually going to be fighting uh, indoors, same cage, but it's going to be indoors. Nice. That's cool. You know, uh, well, that's cool. I kind of like the outside. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty cool. I liked it a lot. You I were, prefer that. But, so you were a fan of the outside aesthetic. Well, yeah, that thing was <laughs> not either. Did, um, no, no flies, anything like that were bothering you throughout the day? Uh, nah, nah. I mean, bring some spray if it were, but nah, it wasn't bothering me. I was, I was good. I took a nap and on, so I was comfortable. That's oftentimes a question I get, you know, does it get uncomfortable being outside? And personally, for me, I'm a lot on the same lines of you. I have not really got bothered. But also, I we, we probably have grown up in the heat for way too long. So yeah. being around <laughs> in the heat is not like a huge bearing compared to what it would be for a lot of other people. But it, it can definitely uh it can hinder some people from wanting to be out at fights as being out in the heat and uh, definitely hinder fighters sometimes from wanting to sign a contract for whatever reason because it's out but for you it don't matter out in the yeah. heat in the nice ac or out in a freaking random gym pedro Trujillo is ready to bang whenever the time comes but speaking <laughs> about ready to bang speaking about whenever the time comes bakersfield uh was looking to have a little bit of their own start to mma looking to get into the mma scene did you want to go into that a little bit i know you were close with the um with the promoter for that carlos mejia I, were you possibly going to be on that card yeah carlos mejia is actually my manager so uh yeah, I'm looking forward to making this a quick finish and jumping onto that card as well, you know what I mean? You know, if all goes well, I'll promote in my own city, you know, show some love. Uh, it'll be pretty cool. It's, it's going to be a historic thing for Bakersfield, so it'll be cool. Either way, I will make sure to throw up a flyer for all the fans that were interested. Still very in the very beginning stages of this. I believe they were still looking for sponsors over there at Bakersfield Combat. But if you guys were interested in that 661 area and to go catch Pedro Chihio a little bit closer to home, make sure you guys are keeping your eyes peeled for that fight because it will definitely be a very interesting one. Whoever you go against, I know that you're going to try your best to be bringing out a big home crowd and be bringing out uh as much support for you in general for this fight though coming up did you have any new sponsors any anybody in particular that was really helping you get through this camp re maybe really helping you out maybe got you some new equipment was there anything of that sort that you wanted to go ahead and uh use some of this time in the interview to thank them busy cmos cmos you know gets me hydrated and gets game just give me feeling right and then we got promotion from personal chiropractor dr Huff best in the best in the game man he gets me right through for my whole fights and uh yeah man just my barbers joseph and uh prosper man helps me with gas money my finances and uh equipment if i need it so everyone i just mentioned thank you a lot you know what i mean so without y'all i couldn't be as comfortable as i am coming into this fight are we perhaps going to see any new braids or any new hairstyles? I know you said shout out to your barbers, but was there going to be any new braids or just the typical? I know, Pedro, you like to go with that two style. Is it going to be the two style once again or championship fight? Was there going to be any special uh, special braiding or anything in a, in line? I got you, bro. Just so you said, I got you. I'm going to come with something pretty cool. I got you, bro. Come That's with something pretty... cool. I, yeah. I, hey man you know you don't got to you could you could do you know if you like to be comfortable but hey i know sometimes with the championships you know guys like to do it up what? a little bit and do 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 some crazy you know so hey you know man do your thing out there pedro i know that not only am i gonna be excited five five nine fans five five nine fights fans are gonna be excited but also people in the bakersfield i know they're gonna be super excited to come out and watch your fight against giovanni Asensio as you guys will be looking to take uh take on for that 
five five nine fights middleweight gold on September sixteenth for five five nine fights one hundred. Pedro Trujillo of One Nation Combat. Thank you so much for your time today, brother. Any any last words? Uh, no man. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. It's helping us a lot. You know what I mean. Thank you, five five nine, and uh, I'm ready to put on the show, man. I promise you, it's gonna be blood. And I'm I'm willing to give it all I got. You know what I mean. So, uh, you know, root for me, and I I put on the show for y'all. All righty. Michael Hernandez here of MLH Media, and we are going to be signing out today for the 10-second mark with the one, the only, Pedro Trujillo over there out of Bakersfield, man. Thank you for your time today, brother. Hey, brother.